you ever just have no audio in your video? <laughs> Great. I guess I have to record it all again. Let's try this again. Okay, so hey, welcome to another video. <laughs> This video is going to be the start of a few things. First of all, I don't remember the last time I made a fitness vlog. And honestly, I don't remember the last time I actually worked out. Secondly, this video will be part one, I guess, of a self-inflicted month-long challenge where every week I'll be doing a different challenge for a week. The title is a work in progress. Also, each month is a self-inflicted challenge, so. Hmm. So pretty much for the next month, I'm going to be dedicating each week to a different week-long challenge. Starting this week, week one with fitness. <laughs> Something that seems to be making its way around the online fitness community is jump rope. And honestly, the last time I jump roped was probably like elementary school for jump rope for heart. So now when I've seen people do this like jump roping challenge, they'll start off with like a couple hundred and then each day they'll add a couple hundred. I know my knees and ankles they won't make it. I will be starting off with 100 jumps and each day I will be adding 50. Another thing that's going around is this exercise by this woman. You've had to have seen this video, right? I feel like everyone has seen it. There are really no directions that I'm aware of. What I gathered is most people who are doing this challenge are doing it for like five minutes. But what I'm noticing on quite a few of these videos is people are doing the move wrong in my opinion. You'll see a lot of people just kind of like thrusting their hips and bouncing their knees and it makes it look like they're really moving. But when you do it that way, it feels like you're not really getting much of a workout. So what I'm thinking is the proper way to do this is squeezing your abs and like doing like a standing crunch almost to the beat of music. Even doing one or two of these, I can already feel my body asking me why I am doing this right now. My goal for this week is to increase speed. Each day I'm going to be posting what song I used and the tempo. So for week one, I figured, why don't we just combine jump roping and the ab workout from Instagram into one weekly challenge. So you may have noticed that yes, I am working out in the garage, even though I said I would never do that again. But unfortunately, due to financial problems, I can no longer afford a gym membership. Plus, COVID. If you have any tips on how to make the garage a little better, a little cooler to work out in, please let me know down in the comments because I expect I will be passing away at the end of this week.
on, but I don't feel like it. Just a note about the ab thing. I've noticed that if you play a song that you really like, it's a lot easier to kind of like forget about the workout. Also, flexing your <laughs> top <laughs> is to already like pre-flex and then crunch. I thought it'd be the opposite because sustaining that position while crunching usually hurts more. So, I don't know, just something I noticed. someone can answer this for me. Why is it easier to jump faster than it is to jump slower? I breezed through today's 350 faster than previous days. sure how to end this video I don't really have like a before and after sort of situation to like show anyone there aren't any results at first I was really worried about the jump roping but it turned out to really not be that big of a deal <laughs> it's been a few years since I jump roped so I think that's why I was really nervous but I kind of just like picked it up I guess it's one of those you never kind of forget how to do it sort of situation. I was worried I was going to injure my knees and like hurt myself, but it was fine. Um, I did get a few calf cramps, <laughs> but that's about it. I think I'm going to keep the jump rope <laughs> in my regiment like any day that I'm not feeling like a full cardio workout. In regards to the Instagram ab thing it was okay i found out about halfway through the week my lower back started to hurt so i was a little more careful about making sure that i was using my ab muscles and i wasn't using my back muscles i don't think i will keep this in my routine there wasn't anything bad about it and it was kind of nice to like jam to some music and do a little dance but overall i just felt kind of silly doing it. I'm not sure what the long-term results would be for something like that and I don't really care to find out myself. Week one of challenges done. Now we'll move on to week two which is a week of self-care and I need it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye!